Hello students, this is Miss Susan, your Piano Fun at Home teacher. Welcome back to your piano lessons. This is lesson five. You've had five lessons already and you've learned so much. I'm so proud of you. I'm, hope that, I'm sure that your mom and dad are proud of you too. We will start lesson five with the review of what we have already learned. And so come on with me to the piano and we will get started with today's lesson. The first thing that we are going to do is to do our note races. Now today I would like to have you find the notes B and A. And with our dog, with our chart, we're going to put the dog in the doghouse to remind us where these notes are. And let's say, let's think, we are going to find the B. Well, here's the D for the dog. And if we go down here to the C, and underneath the C, we find the B. Now to find the B, what you're looking for is you go to the threes, and the B is right here. You go to the threes, and the B is right here. So, the first thing we're going to do is going to turn on the timer, and we're going to see how many we can do. Ready? Go. Three. I found six. How many did you find? Let's do it again. Now I have to beat six and let's see you can beat whatever number that you have. Okay, ready? Go. Six. Seven. Ah, I found seven. I beat my six. Okay, the next lesson, the next uh, note we're going to find is the A. And again, you take your chart and you put the dog in the doghouse and we have the D and we have the C and the B and the A. Now the A is a little bit harder to find. Uh, so that's why we're practicing. We can practice now. You go to the threes, the A, you go to the threes and the A is right here. It's right next to the B. Okay, you have it scoped out. Have you found it on the piano so that we can do our little our little note finding exercises? Okay, ten seconds. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I found seven. How many did you find? A is a little bit harder to find. Okay, let's try it one more time. Ready? I'm ready to go. Go. There are three finger number songs on this page. And to play this, we're going to take our thumbs and put the thumbs on middle C. Now this time, is this first one is going to be a little tricky because first we play the right hand thumb on middle C, and then we play the left hand thumb on middle C, and then we play the right hand second finger on D, and the left hand second finger, and then the right hand third, and then the left hand third, and then the right hand fourth, and then the left hand fourth, and then they play them together. Now I'm going to need both hands, so I can't point. Okay, let's give that a try. Ready? Go. One on the right hand, one on the left hand, two right hand, two left hand, three right, three left, four right, four left. Together, both fives, both fours, both threes, both twos, both one. Oh. They're playing the same note, so it sounds like this just one. You see where we are right here? Okay, now let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. This one will be a little easier because they don't they take turns. First of all, we're going to have our right hand. We're going to play pinky. This is, oh, this is a skipping song. Remember last lesson we talked about skipping and steps and stuff? Well, here's a skipping song. We're going to hit pinky, finger number five, and then we're going to hit finger number three. And pinky again, five, three. Now we're going to switch. Hit five, 
left hand, jump and skip to three, skip to five, skip to three. Now we're going to go to the right hand because it's above the line, finger four, and skip down to the two, and skip up to the four, and skip down to the two. Now the left hand, four, skip up to the two, play the four, play the two. Let's do that one more time. Let's play that one one more time. This is a good exercise because you, you alternate the fingers. You have pinky third, pinky third, and then the left hand goes pinky three, five, three, and then we go four, two, four, two, and then four, two, four, two. It gets your fingers going. It gets your fingers going, and it gets you independence of fingers. Okay, are you ready to go on the piano? Put your hands on the piano. Let's go. Five, three, five, three. Left hand, five, three, five, three. Right hand, four, two, four, two. Right hand, four, two, four, two. Did you do it? How did you do on that one? It isn't much of a song. It's just an exercise to get your fingers moving. Let's do the last one here. Okay, we're going to start with the right hand. Five, three, and now we go to the left hand and do that backwards. Three, five. And now we go to the right hand. Two, four, and then the left hand. Four, two, and now the hands play together. Two, three, four, five, four, three, that one. Were you able to follow and keep up? Okay, let's do it one more time. We're going to play it one more time. Ready? Right hand. Five, three, left hand, three, five, right hand, two, four, left hand, four, two, hands together, two, three, four, you do it? What we learned new, our last lesson, was that when we write music, we have our five lines. One, two, three, four, five. We learned that in lesson three. And we also learned that you can put notes on the lines, here they're on the lines, here they are, the lines, line, 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 or you can put them in the spaces. Space, space, space. Now when you go from line to line, you skip. Remember, you skip the space. We're going to skip the space and go to the line. And then we're going to skip and go to the line. And skip to the line. Now this is the same. Then we're going to skip down, skip down, skip down. Now here we started here, the spaces, we skipped to the space, skip to the space, skip to the space, and skip to the space. Now on this line we, we mixed it all up. We started on the line and we went up one to the space, up one to the line, and then we skipped to the line, and then came down one to the space, skipped to the space, skipped up to the space, skipped down to the space, and then we stepped down one to the line, we went up one to the space, up one to the line, up one to the space, up one to the line, and then we skip to the line and skip to the line and then repeated it. That's what we learned in our last lesson. Now, then we had some songs that we played. Then we took out the I Can Do It book. Remember the I Can Do It book? And we opened up to page 22 and we played Ring Around the Rosie. And I want you to play this song with me. This is going to be a little bit fast because you've had time to practice it. We're going to do it one time slowly and the next time we'll do it at regular speed. Okay? Are you ready? Put your hands on the piano. One, two, ready, go. D, D, B, E, D, B, B, D, D, B, E, D, B, D, B, D, B, C, D, D, G. How did that 
go. Okay, let's do it one more time a little faster. Ring around the rosy, a pocket full of posies. Ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Yeah, yeah. How is that going for you? Okay. Then we turned the page and we talked about finger numbers. One, two, three, four, five. And then we talked over here about playing slowly. Let's see, this is the left hand practice. We're gonna play it slowly. Just, I'm just gonna do it once. This is a review. Largo, which means slowly. Now we're going to play it vivace, quickly like a bunny rabbit. C, B, A, G, F, F, G, A, B, C. How did you do on that? Did you play that? And then we turned the page and we played row, row, row your boat. And we had new notes. We had the down arrow notes of the G and the down arrow notes of the A and the B. Now let's play it once a little bit slow and then once normal speed. Row. G, 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 A, B, B, A, B, C, D, G, 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 D, 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 B, 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 G, 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 D, C, B, A, G. Yeah, we learned that you play some parts fast and some parts slow. Okay, let's play it one more time. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. So how did you do? Were you able to play fast and did you remember everything that we learned in our last song? This is Miss Susan, your piano teacher, your piano fun at home teacher. Uh, this, was the, uh, this was the beginning of Lesson 5, the review section of Lesson 5, and I would like to invite you back to the section of, uh, the, section of the new stuff on Lesson 5, and we are going to start learning how to read music. Bye-bye.